Welcome back. This is tutorial number three of three, or the final tutorial on how to recode a Blu-ray into an MKV keeping the subtitles. For this tutorial, we're going to be using MKV Toolnix 5.8.0. You can download it from this link. Once you download it, install it, you're going to end up with a shortcut like this. And we're going to be using our video file from tutorial number one and our video file from tutorial number two which I'm going to rename right now to BDRB EP6 so I can distinguish between the two inside my MKV merge when I open it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and here's our interface. I'm going to click add. I'm going to choose the very first video file we made that make MKV one. Click open. It's going to show you all the streams inside that one file. Video stream, audio stream, subtitles, four subtitles and your chapter entries. So we know that we recoded it in tutorial two because we wanted a smaller video file of this of this container. So we're going to get rid of the video section of this container file. We're going to keep our audio. Our subtitles I'm going to get rid of because I don't want them. If you want to keep yours, you can keep them. I am going to keep my four subtitles. Now I can tell the difference between the two because I know that the ID3 is my four subtitle track and if you mess up and choose the wrong one just minimize your MKV merge and you can always come back and swap the check marks around and you'll only be out about five or ten minutes of your time now once you find out which one is your four subtitles you need to change this down here to your default track flag is yes and fourth track flag is also yes that way if you put this file onto a USB and you play it inside uh, like a blu-ray player it will automatically show your four subtitles down on your Blu-ray player. Now the chapters on this first MKV are nine. Let me show you. Once we add our BDRB file, that's going to change. You can see right here it has a video stream, audio stream, and another set of chapters. Now you can tell the difference between the two different files that we've put in here because this one says make MKV and then you get down here from BDRB. So all you have to do is check off to the right and you'll be able to tell which file these uh, sections are coming from. So we know we got rid of our video on our first make MKV one so we're gonna leave the video from our BDRB and our audio we're gonna keep from the first one so we're gonna delete it from the second one. Now to our chapters. The difference between the two chapters is with the very first one that we created the chapters the nine entries came directly from the Blu-ray so that when you check next chapter it actually goes to the next chapter and starts playing where it's supposed to. Now on the chapters 11 here from the BDRB rip, BDRB basically puts the chapters at time codes within the movie depending on how long the movie is. So when you click next chapter it may not be at the same spot it is in the in the chapters from the very first rip. Now that poses an issue because if you click next chapter and you end up in the middle of a fight scene you missed the whole portion of the chapter where it should be if you had used the original chapters. So we're going to leave those and we're going to get rid of the ones from the BDRB. So essentially the only thing we're really doing is getting rid of the video from our original MKV and adding the video portion from our second MKV. So we're going to go back through and we're going to make sure we have everything set correctly before we hit start muxing. We have an audio stream. We have our four subtitles which have been changed. We have our nine chapters and we have our video. So we're going to go down here, check and make sure that you have a directory listed where you're going to have enough space and then click start muxing. And depending on your computer it takes anywhere from three to ten minutes depending also on the size of the movie usually takes about three minutes on mine. There it is, two minutes and 42 seconds. So once it gets down to the end, I will be back on. And we're coming up on the last few seconds here. And it tells you right here, everything went fine. Took two minutes and 43 seconds. You can click OK. Now if you're not sure, like I said, about the subtitle tracks, just minimize and then check your finished file right here and I'm going to rename it. Now our final product is 4.32 gigabytes. Our BDRB rip was 4.32 and our original was 12.4. So our final video file is one-third the size of our original make MKV rip. So we're going to save a lot of hard drive space 
and the video quality is indistinguishable between the two. So I hope that you've learned something from these tutorials. I hope they help you out. And if you have any suggestions for us as far as other tutorials to make, please leave them in the comments and we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you very much.